Hey y'all. So I wanted to record this video of a kind of like welcoming in 2022, reflection of 2021, um, kind of new year planning video and things I wanted to share with you guys that maybe can help some of you guys out for the new year. I'd say for me, long story short is 2021 was a very interesting year to say the least a lot a lot a lot of things came out of it i'd say for me you know when it came to like career just certain friendships and people relationships i've learned so much i have learned a lot um in 2021 and i felt like i went through like five years worth of shit in one year so it's crazy but i set how i ended 2021 set myself up really good for the start of this year so i'm i'm just i'm super excited um one thing that i do know that i need to be better in is budgeting so for me i've always been good with money i've never been a uh, big spender like that i'm a minimalist to a t um I'm the kind of person that, you know, I love a good deal, I love discounts, I love coupons, but I like good shit, you know, so I want good quality and a good deal. So I'm very nitpicky when it comes to that. And I like to just, I don't know, I like to be smart when I buy. So because of that, I want to be able to continue that habit into 2022. I've had to make a lot a lot of big purchases towards the end of the year specifically december as you guys know i moved into a new apartment so that's where i'm recording my video right now and i've had to buy obviously furniture like i knew i was moving into the apartment like maybe end of october last year um somewhere in october i'm pretty sure it was before november so basically as soon as i found out that i got approved for the place I'm, I went and I bought furniture. So I went online, looked for things that I like. Um, I know that I told you guys that I was doing a, gonna do an apartment tour as my second video, but I it would it wouldn't have been the apartment tour that I wanted for you guys to see, only because like I had my Christmas decor up and I wanted to do this holiday special like themed one but a lot of my stuff like a lot of decor that i wanted i still haven't gotten so now that it's looking more collective especially like in the living room area once i get everything together i will record that for you guys and do like a, a walkthrough um you guys you know if you haven't already my first video is up and that's of my empty apartment tour um but in regards to big purchases i've had to buy like my couch beds you know mirror tv tv stand dining set you know like kitchen stuff like i spent so much money um last year of december um and then coming into january you know having to pay my deposit and you know first month's rent just paid <laughs> this month's rent on the first you know i've never paid rent ever like i fun fact about me right so fun fact about me is i i graduated uh which my bat with my bachelor's in 2020 i'm always where i've always been working whether i was in school or not but i'm you know in a career now where i'm making a good amount of, of money and I've decided that it was time for me to move out. I had a large chunk of my savings, so I was ready to do it whether I had gotten that job or not. But it's making my life easier now that I did um, get that job. So now, you know, I'm able to move in and kind of recuperate all the funds um, that I've been having to spend just to move in. So budgeting needs to be a thing for me. I can afford where I live, so that's not... A big issue for me but I, I still want to be able to continue to save like how I was saving like for the past few years like I've just been really good at saving no matter how little or how much I was making and I want to continue um, doing that this year for sure one thing that I've been slacking on is the gym I went today 
to the gym. Um, first time in a while. I, so I went to the gym. I, I'm focused on weight training. So I used to go to the gym last year just primarily for classes. I do like a hit class. I would do a strength strength training class. I would do yoga. You know, I those are fun for me. You know, I would I I started going to a new gym now that has a pool because the one I was going to before it was like your basic gym and it didn't have a pool. I was going to youth it. Now um, I'm at a different gym now and it has all of these utilities. So like I would go to just take advantage of those and take advantage of the classes. And my old gym wasn't doing classes, you know, cause of COVID. So this new gym, you know, they were able to still, you'd have to um, sign up for the classes and there would be only a limited amount of people in those classes. But I was happy cause they were, they were doing classes while my, while my old gym was not. So this year, something that I want to do this year is actually, I want to start going to the gym a lot more specifically to tone. My goal is definitely, definitely to tone. Last year, it was mostly like, just minimal stuff just things to kind of say hey i went to the gym today but this year i definitely definitely want to take it up a notch um i went today half an hour started small you know doing just some leg work arm work just getting used to the weights i've noticed that i do need like the weight gloves for my fingers because i get like my calluses start to like you know do that you know when you're climbing the monkey bars as a child and it starts like peeling and bleeding because of yeah i need gloves basically so i'm going to make some time to order that if not today then tomorrow so just this weekend for sure i know i need that the gym yeah so that's a big thing for me i want to by the end of this year my legs and my abs better <laughs> looked so defined like you guys are gonna be like, what the hell? Like, I wanna look at myself and be like, what the hell? Like, that's how defined I need my legs to be. So for this year, I'm usually a big planner when it comes to things, right? I like to plan what I'm gonna do, accomplish, make uh, accomplishments that I want to make, when I'm gonna make them, you know, when's my deadline for me to make them. And this year, I kinda want it to go a little different. Like, I kinda wanna like go with the flow and enjoy things, enjoy my now. I have this big problem where I don't know how to relax. I'm always, always, always wanting to do things. I never know how to like sit back and like look at things, look at my accomplishments. It's like after I got, I get one thing, okay, what's next, you know? And I don't think that's a good way to live your life. So I don't know if anybody else struggles with that, but I struggle with that immensely. It's like, it's like I get this thing that I've been working for forever and it's like, all right, cool, you know, like it doesn't satisfy me. Okay, cool, I got it, cool, what, what else? You know, if I can get this, you know, th then, you know, if I could get this job, you know, like there's more money out there, how can I make more money, you know, how can I, I just need to, and I, my, my thing is, I don't know when to stop. So this year, I'm, I kinda wanna go with the flow. I kinda want to appreciate the small wins, you know, like celebrate the small wins. That's a big thing for me, you know, when my daughter learns something new or she, I see her doing something by herself, even though it seems small, you know, I, I try to make sure I celebrate the small wins because sometimes it's not about, you know, it's about the journey just as, lo just as much as it's about the end goal. So I need to do better about doing that moving forward. That's something that I really wanna learn how to like navigate through to 2021 for me it was just a lot of experiences there's nothing that i would have changed differently um because i probably wouldn't be in the position that i am now had i done something differently in 2021 but i am definitely looking forward to what this year has for me you know my new job i'm very very excited about um i've already started so i've already gotten the feel of how it's gonna be but you know just throughout the year i want to grow i want to grow my youtube youtube's also a big thing um that one of my goals that i have for 2022 i just want to be able to be consistent you know with uh the content that i put up for you guys so if you do have anything that you want to know from me about this video you know feel free to comment them down um and maybe i can do a separate video on that if it's something that's worth me doing a whole video about but for youtube i just want to be you know i want to engage with you all i want to engage with other new youtubers i just you know i want to grow my channel 
I am not in a rush by any means and I don't mind starting, you know, from the level one, you know, I don't mind. I want to learn as I go and, you know, learn how to, you know, just create better content for you guys and just learn how to really, really do this YouTube thing. So that's on my list. So it was budgeting, gym, basically going, you know, going through the motions, enjoying things as they come. YouTube. I'm just, I don't know about you, but I just, I feel really good about 2022. And yeah, I'm excited for what this year has to bring. I'm going to try to really get in my apartment tour for you guys. I have another, I have like a list of like videos that I do want to create. Don't know when they're going to happen, but again, I'm going to try to at least probably do one or two videos a month for you guys. Um, Cause I do work a lot of hours, but I do also don't want to forget about obviously this whole YouTube thing. So yeah, super excited. I cannot wait um, to post this actually. I'm going to just edit this post it and for any comments that you guys might have please 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 leave them down in the description box i would love to like get to know you guys and answer any questions that you have thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe thanks